Hey everybody, Potato Tamer here, and this week we've got the Christabel box. Which, I think it's only one thing, because Chris is in Christabel, so the Chris Griffin and the Chris painting also go within the Christabel. Anyways, another art box, which I'm not too enthused about, but I would consider doing it just for Chris painting, personally. Because, good lord, that card is good. Anyways, let's get right into it. There's painting right off the bat. That boost, hijack, and leech is just ridiculous. Even as a single, he's got 34 health and 11 attack. So, he can get up there pretty fast. And then you get into his quadded, and that's just ridiculous. Our first tool in the box is Christabel's painting. And it's got a really nice set of skills for and being an artistic card with the bodyguard heal all and punch on top of a fairly good body even as it is on the screen so pretty good card it would have a pretty high amount of shield so definitely not bad and then we've got reflections which is a bigger body with better skills for a defense deck and it's pretty much the same combos, but it also adds that Da Vinci on there. So, personally, I like its combos a little better, because I'm not a big fan of Draw Me Linda. I much prefer her Haunted Linda combo. Next up, we have Sad Clown, which has fairly low health compared to the other ones we've looked at. But it has a higher attack. And it comes in really handy for that propane sculpture because it adds a little extra gas to give it that extra removal power. And it also works for the Sculptor Peter and the Chris Painting. But we add that propane sculpture at the cost of being able to make Artist Roger. So it's a give and take like all of these. And our first character card of the box is, you guessed it, Chris. Which is amazing because we can make that Chris painting that all of these cards make which is also nice in combination with all of his other amazing combos he doesn't get a whole lot of credit to be honest but it's a fantastic card and then we have Linda and I'm not a big fan of her new artistic combo but Haunted Linda which is her old one is a very strong card and is pretty good for removing but not nearly as good as the ravenous porcelain babies that we had in the armed event. And she's going to be great tank and healer in the upcoming drunk event. She's got a bunch of good combos overall, so definitely not a bad pickup. Our first epic pre-combo for the box is chest etching. And she has a pretty good health, which is nice for an epic card at all. And it's got... A pretty high payback and jab, and it cheers artistic, so definitely an interesting pickup for defense during the event right now. Our next epic pre-combo is Da Vinci, which actually also has really high health, the same exact number if you take a look. But this one has boost and cheer all for artistic, so if you get it and want to use it, you're definitely going to want to put it out as early as possible. Our first epic tool is Lowbrow, which is going to have your fantastic Boeing Law Intoxicated, I Like Beer, Baby Bender, Drunk at the Clam, and Yacht Dreams. But then it's going to add the new Oktoberfest Amy, which has got that hijack and boost. So she's definitely going to be a very interesting card in the upcoming event, especially if there's some sort of defensive buff on the background event coming up. Next up we have Beer Water, which is going to have four of the same combos we just talked about. But it's also going to have Oktoberfest, Leela, the Party Beer Implant, their Hungover Stand. So, fairly good card, and always that honorable mention to Never Have I Ever for those of you who still run rares. It's a fantastic removal card. Next up we have Cupid Cleland, which still bums me out that he's only an epic and only a tool. Because that's the first we've seen of Cleveland the entire time. And we all wanted him in this game as far as I can tell. But he does have a bunch of good combos like the Honey Mustache Dewey and the Cute Witch and the Jouster Peggy and the Cat Stand. So, I mean, he definitely could have gotten a worse showing. And finally we've got Lady Wrestling which has a bunch of the all-stars for the 
athletic event, like that wingnut Leela, the golfing Hank, the buff Fry, the cheerleader Peggy, the gender bender, and who can forget the naked tug of war? It's got so many good combos, but it does have a fairly low health, so it is what it is. Final thoughts on the box. I'm going to say if I'm going to buy any artistic box ever, this is going to be it. Because that Chris painting pre-combos in there, Chris and Linda, three ways to make the Chris painting, and a bunch of other good combos. This is the box. But I hope you all enjoyed it and have a wonderful day. Hit that like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And if you have any comments or improvements, let me know.